Hey guys, I'm Common Ramen here. Um, as a reminder, if you like my content, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to help me with those analytics. And as always, if you want to see the content as it drops, hit the bell icon so you can be notified when I post new content. And then finally, if you feel the need to support me, hit me up on my Patreon at patreon.com slash Uncommon Ramen, capital U, capital R. I do all of this in my free time, so any amount of support can help me bring more of this to you more often. So, without further ado, we're going to jump into uh, another board game, uh, Dungeons, Dice, and Danger, uh, which was actually, weirdly enough, um, designed by Richard Garfield. And if you don't know, he is the guy who designed Magic the Gathering. Um, so this is a roll and write game, um, and I don't typically, or I guess I should say I've found myself... Um, buying more roll and writes than I, I would have given myself credit for. Um, I'm not a huge fan of roll and writes, but sometimes there are um, roll and writes with some aesthetic qualities that just speak to me. Um, railroad Inc. Was, an, was one of those where you're basically building a, uh, a railroad system, and it just, I, I liked the way it looked. I, I felt that it, it uh, definitely spoke to me. I also um, picked up Floor Plan. Uh, by Oxide Games, and it was kind of the same thing where you get to build a house, and I just really enjoyed the aesthetic, uh, uh, I guess, theme to it. Um, but typically speaking, I don't pick Roll and Writes up very often. So here is yet another Roll and Write, and I thought this one was really cool uh, because we're actually going into a dungeon, and this one. Um, they came up, they came with four different maps, um, but the beauty of it is that, uh, this could be easily expandable by just bringing out more maps. Um, so I've already laminated two of these because when I do roll and writes, I tend to laminate the, uh, the papers because I want the game to last some time. And, you know, once you run out of pages, you're kind of SOL. So we're going to take a look at these maps so this is one of the maps that are available the puzzled pyramid and then underneath that we have the annoyed animals and then on the flip side of that we have the clumsy cultists And then the flip side of the puzzled pyramids, we have ourselves the defiant dinosaurs. So these are the maps that are included with this. Um, some roll and writes will already come with previ uh, you know, previously laminated maps and, and or whatever it is you're writing on. Uh, rail or yeah, Railroad Inc. had. Um, dry erase boards with dry erase markers. Um, I just try to keep the theme by laminating these so that uh, I can just use a dry erase marker and I can turn around and uh, erase it. And then a lot of people complain because, well, how are you supposed to keep the records? Well, take a picture of it. I mean, honestly, if you really want to keep the records of the uh, totals that you've done in the past or how you've died in the past, just take a picture of the board before you erase it. That's just my thoughts on that. Uh, it came with quite a few different rule books, so, you know, a ton of different languages here. Of course, I am English, so we're going to be looking at the English book. I like how colorful and uh, how well they uh, label everything in this rule book. Um, despite the fact that there is quite a bit of rules going on here, um, I feel like a, a large portion of this is mostly just clarification. And as we hit uh, closer to the back of it, we're going to actually hit... Um, I believe modules. Yeah, okay, so this is the end of the game.
And then it just goes into explanations of each of the dungeons. So we have the annoyed animals, and it kind of goes into what you should see that's specific on that. And then puzzled pyramids, going over very specific things about puzzled pyramids. And then it has a solo game option. So if you um, want to play this by yourself, which is more than likely going to happen, you can. Next up in the box, we have the actual pad of maps, and somebody out there is going to point out, there's hundreds of maps there. You don't need to laminate them. You're probably right. I probably don't, but uh, it makes me feel better to have a laminated map and not have to use these maps because it's not necessary. Here's another pad with all of the... Uh, remaining two dungeons and if you flip it you can see right there the uh, defiant dinosaurs so yeah it comes with two very large pads of maps and again as i've pointed out to myself you don't necessarily need to laminate them but like i said it just makes me feel better to have them laminated for uh posterity if you will comes with the pencils so it's not, it obviously doesn't support dry erase, so I have to bring my own dry erase markers, but um, should I feel the need to, I could use the pencils and, and you know, use the paper mats instead, but there's just no reason not to. And then lastly, we have ourselves the wooden dice. Yes, they are wooden. These are the dice. Uh, I imagine the wooden dice are cheaper than plastic dice. I'm not really sure. Um, but it stands to reason to me that plastic would be more expensive. Um, yeah, so we got four white and one black. Um, I don't know exactly why they have two different colors or what it indicates, but uh, yeah, so we got our dice. That's it that's in the box, really. We have ourselves the divider, which is one of those double valley vi dividers that typically are terrible, but in this particular case, with very little in the way of components, uh, is no reason not to use the double valley. Back in there. So that is the Dungeons Dice and Danger um, unboxing. Honestly, like I said, um, I'm not a big fan of Roll and Writes. I think that um, there are a ton of solo games that you can play, and Roll and Writes just never end up on my radar. Or I shouldn't say never, but they, they very rarely end up on my radar. But occasionally I see one that just really, something about it screams out to me. I love the art on this. I love the theme of it. I love that we're, you know, going into a dungeon. Um, you know, we're fighting things. Uh, the maps are really super cool. I think this has a really good uh, future, um, especially considering all you have to do, like I said before, is print new maps for it, and then all of a sudden uh, you've expanded on this game. And more importantly, you could probably put modules in this game that would also make it really interesting and fun as well. But that is it, folks. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. Uh, let's keep it positive because I will be removing any negative comments. And that's it. Until next time. Peace.